Okay, so finally, it's a time to test Java deployment. So as per the Microsoft documentation, there are different ways to connect to Azure Virtual Desktop. One of the way is you can download and install Windows Desktop Client. It depends on your system requirement. You can download based on your Windows version. And the second one is the web client, which is the URL based. You can go to this URL and enter user details and go to your virtual desktop. And some of the clients are also compatible like Android, Mac OS, iOS. You can connect with Microsoft Store client and you can use one of the thin clients. All the informations are there in the Microsoft documentation. So for this demo, purpose what I'm using is going with the web client so let me grab this URL and let me go into this URL first yep so that's give asking you to enter the user details so let's go into the Azure Active Directory go into users and let me grab the user one first is username yep so now you can see I'm logged into this URL and I can see my workspace and under my workspace I can see the session desktop the user one doesn't have any applications at the moment because we haven't assigned anything to user one. We provided some applications to user two, which we are going to test as well. So let me click on this session desktop and let's click allow. So we need to provide the password. And you can see we are getting this virtual desktop and we logged in already and let's see the application which we have installed for all users there or not which is 7-zip let me find it from here yep the 7-zip file manager is there so that looks like it's working so now what we do is let me grab this URL again and let's try with user 2 and see if we get some other applications which we have assigned for user 2. So let me sign out this user 1 here and Okay, let me add another user. Let me grab the details. I'll just put the user 2 there. User 2. And now you can see I have logged in as user 2 and I can see some applications here which we have provided to user 2. So this is the remote apps user 2 um, have been assigned and this is the session desktop. So let me try to click on this session desktop again for user 2. Okay, so you can see I'm logged in as user 2 here as well and you can see the user 1 is in logged in as well so now let's go to the Azure portal go to your storage account let's go into your file share and let's click on the file share and you should see the profile yes you can see the user one and user two profile got created here in the file share so that's how the fs logic technology works so now the one thing i want to show you about is your virtual desktop if you go into the host pool and open your pool one host pool 
and click on your session host and go into the session host you should see yes you can see those users here the session number and user details who logged into your virtual desktop so this is how this works so also you can create some custom applications based on your users or organizations requirement and package those applications um, inside this virtual desktop environment so for that you need to go into azure virtual desktop and under the application group you just select one of the application group and click on applications and when you click add under the application source you will find one more option which is msix package so msix is windows application package format that provides a modern packaging experience to all Windows application. We cannot do it here because we don't have MSIX apps which installed in our host pool environment. But if you want to learn more about this deployment, um, packaging deployment, you can go to the Microsoft documentation page and learn about what is MSIX and what is MSIX app switch and it will give you a step-by-step -step process how to deploy your MSIX packaging environment in your Azure virtual desktop. And at last, if you are preparing for AZ140 exam, I recommend you go to the Microsoft um, certification page so you get all the information about the certification and all modules of uh, this configuring and operating Microsoft Azure Virtual Desktop. And you can get two ways to prepare. One is online free method, um, which I did as well through uh, clicking on this learning path. You get all the information, including um, monitoring your Azure Virtual Desktop and how to protect your Azure Virtual Desktop using the Azure Firewall as well, so you can learn more about it. But I hope uh, my videos were helpful for you to understand the deployment part, and I wish everyone a good luck and happy learning.